the mega open house. Hi, I'm Scott Jacobs. And look, for the last couple of years, open houses really haven't been a thing, right? Going through the pandemic, really nobody wanted that kind of level of traffic through their house, even though if they were trying to sell it, right? However, the market that we're going into, the level of importance on open houses is going to be paramount by a productive agent. Really focus on the amount of directional signs and lead-in signs. You know, some people say 10, 20. How about this? The more, the merrier. You might very well want to go around, whether you door knock or you send out a flyer, you're gonna to wanna to invite the neighbors, lure them in with maybe a food truck or something like that, or you know that you're gonna be serving up wine or mimosas or the best cookies you've ever eaten in your entire life. We haven't really had to do open houses because if you took a listing over the last three years, large in part, it was just gonna sell, right? Days on market now are lingering. Three weeks here in Northern Virginia as we shoot this video, October 2022, pretty soon we'll be at 30 days. And look, when you've been driving the car at 110 miles an hour and now you have to go to the speed limit of 60, it's going to feel like you hit the wall. But we're just normalizing. And as we normalize, the importance of open houses is going to be something that you're really going to need to pay attention to because I believe it will become one of your best lead sources as a buyer's agent. Now the buyers that are coming through, very important, the number of lead-in signs, inviting the neighbors, right? Generating a buzz, doing the right targeted Facebook marketing campaigns. We can shoot another video about that later. However, what's your method of collecting the data when people come through? Open houses could get pretty busy. They can also be pretty slow. And that depends on the, upon the way that you effectively market the property. So what's the best way to lead capture when, when uh, people come through your open house? You know, some people have have, you know, just a little ledger, you know what I mean? You know, write their name, number, this kind of stuff. Try to thinking about leveraging an iPad through sources like Open Home Pro, for example, where it can effectively just give them a place to type in their information, hit the enter button, and that immediately goes to a database where you can lead follow up, you can create drip marketing systems because more often times than not, you know, you might be upstairs showing somebody the master bathroom. Somebody else just came in and now they're in the basement. And guess what? They left before you even had an opportunity to interact with them. Some of the best leads that you could generate are gonna come off the open house. And look, well, you might say, I don't have a listing. Find somebody in your office, find somebody on your team who has lots of listings and ask them if you can work one of their open houses and just have a general understanding that, you know, any leads that come off of that, you know, are gonna actually go to you. You know, you're gonna be able to work it, right? But then you're giving maximum exposure, you know, to that agent's listing. Win, win, friends. I assure you, as we move into 2023, open houses are gonna be a thing that you're gonna need to build into your weekly routines. I don't necessarily believe and subscribe to the idea that you need to have a four hour open window. Try to consolidate it down to two hours, usually between 12 and 2 p.m. on a Saturday or Sunday. When you present the window of opportunity, the consumers typically fall in line. Open houses are gonna be something that you really need to pay attention to and really can generate, I believe, your best leads as we go into this next market. If you have any questions regarding any portion of this, please give me a call. My personal cell phone, 703 area code 346-5855 and or shoot me a message. I'd love to talk to you.